Hey gamers, in this video I want to show you how to make a simple cheap bee farm that you can harvest honeycomb and uh, honey bottles out of. It's a manual farm so you have to do it yourself but it reduces the cost of the overall build. And I made a list of all the materials you will need to build this. So we have 252 glass cubes, 10 beehives, 2 doors, 8 torches, 28 dirt cubes, 10 campfires, 2 pressure plates, and 24 flowers of your choice. Any kind of flowers work. And feel free to stop the video right here if you want to take a closer look at the materials you need. It's very fast to build too. It actually only took me a few minutes to get this done. I made the outline here so you can see exactly how the footprint would look of the building. In the center here we have a 2 by 5 rectangle where we will place the campfires and the beehives. And for you this could be dirt or other types of cubes. And then we have a 3 uh, cube distance towards the edge from each side of the center. Once you figure out your build area, go ahead and destroy this 2 by 5 area in the center and start placing the campfires again 10 campfires will be needed for this then go ahead and take your beehives and place them on top of the campfires you don't even need to hold shift down uh, you'll be able to place them right away until you have 10 beehives in the center should look something like this then go ahead to one of the sides you wish and then place two doors. I've actually misplaced a door here initially. Now it's time for the actual wall. So what you want to do is build a four cube high wall of glass and you can start anywhere really. And what you want to do is uh, go around the whole area and uh, basically make your a simple cube or rectangle type house uh, and this will ensure that the bees don't fly off uh, I had other types of farm where if I don't cover the whole area they will simply wander off and not be able to find the beehive again it won't take long to actually finish this wall and once you finish the wall from the height 4 of it you can start making your uh, roof now you can make it out of glass again to be able to see what's inside once it's covered that will also stop the smoke from rising above uh, but you'll still get some smoke trapped inside it won't affect you much though and this is how it looks uh, once it's done the next step we want to go inside with your dirt cubes and put them all around the edge however not where the doors are so you just put this around the edge and this is where your flowers and your torches will be standing on I noticed that by doing this the bees get to the flowers a lot easier another thing you want to do is make sure you put torches in your farm so that monsters don't spawn at night if you put four torches on the corners of the beehives and another four torches on the corners of the farm themselves like so so, and if we actually look at the end by pressing F3, we can check the fact that the light level of the blocks is always above 7, uh, which is the level required for monsters to spawn. So this inside the farm will actually be safe if you place the torches like this. And now it's time for the flowers. I actually chose oxide daisies just because I like the way they look. Uh, but any type of flower will work. Just make sure you cover all the dirt cubes that are uh, free on the edge and place them there. Uh, make sure you cover every single one so that the bees can fly to the flowers and get the pollen and thus produce the honeycombs you need. That's the actual farm, all that you need. The next step is to go find bees, uh, gather the uh, bee nests with a silk touch tool and then bring them over here. Make sure that the bees are actually inside the honeycomb or the bee nest when you pick it up with silk touch and then bring it and replace them in the center uh, here so that you can start farming your bees and you have to give them flowers in order to breed. But once you do that, they will automatically get out of the beehive. They will go to the flowers like so. Uh, they will pick up pollen and you can see the little particles on their behind, the little white particles. Once they have the pollen, they go inside the beehive and they produce honey. Another little detail I like to put in here is uh, two barrels outside where I can put uh, a glass bottle that gathers the honey bottle, the shears to get the honeycomb, and uh, any type of flower in order to breed my bees. In order to actually harvest, you can take your shears, go inside and just right click on the beehive and that's how you collect honeycomb. Or then you switch to your uh, glass bottle, right click again and you'll create a honey bottle. And the campfires that are underneath will prevent the bees from attacking attacking you. If they would attack you, they would sting you, poison you, and they would die afterwards because they only have one stinger. 
Once you have your harvest, you can put them in the barrels in front of the farm. And that's it for the tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe if you like my content. Until next time, stay safe, don't get stung.